Hello everybody, this may may or may not be a short video, I don't know, but uh, today we're going to do a bit of radio astronomy-esque work, turn it down a little bit. Uh, there's currently a meteor shower going on, as you may or may not know. I was able to see it yesterday because it was actually clear and it was pretty, uh, but tonight it is raining really hard, so the only way to really observe it is indirectly. So what I have here is a um, an SDR, like a software-defined radio, which I actually got for my radio telescope that I'm building, which I still haven't assembled. But uh, I have it currently set up, so I have the antenna I came with on my desk, just elevated up. And I'm currently tuned, well, kind of between um, a radio station from Edmonton, which is about, it's over 200 kilometers away. So I can't actually hear the radio station, which is good, because it's far enough away that I just, just barely can't hear it. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking for reflections, because uh, every time an, uh, a meteor, you know, blazes overhead or whatever, it creates a, you know a, 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 it creates an ionized plasma trail, and um, that plasma trail will will uh, re reflect and amplify radio signals. So basically, what, what I'm looking for are little spikes of radio action in this um, what's it called again? Spectrum? No, yeah, spectrum. Basically the readout here, I forget what it's actually literally called. Um, I don't know if you see my cursor. There's something right there, that, that might have been something, I'm not sure actually. I don't think it was. Usually, I, I, I've, I've detected a few uh, tonight while going through this, and they're usually pretty um, pretty easy to see. Uh, let me see if I can change... Let me just up the contrast a little bit, give us some more sensitivity. Actually, that looks terrible, but whatever. Um, I've discovered that they usually seem to peak around the 92.65 FM band, so that's kind of where I'm looking at right here. Well, actually, I, w I was tuned into 92.5, because uh, that's the actual radio station over here, but I have not actually detected any... Um, I have seen no spikes in that area. I've only seen the spikes over here in, like, the 92.65, so... I'm guessing that's an actual uh, um, station that I'm actually detecting, or at least that that's bouncing the signals better than the, than the other ones. So far, nothing. Hmm. Again, it is only 1.21 a.m. Uh, technically, I, sh I, I should wait until it's, like, 3 or 4 in the morning. I should technically 5 to 6 in the morning, when the Earth, like, more my location, anyways, is facing... Uh, into the Earth's line of travel, and we'll get more debris and more stuff, but whatever. <coughs> I don't know how long we'll be awake for, so I'm not just now. I have some screen caps of some actual detections that I got earlier, and if I can't find anything during this recording, I will put those up on the screen. Or I will anyway, just because, who knows. But this is fun. Yes, I'm, I'm just in the FM band right now. I'm between two radio stations. Like, uh, on the side here, you can see these, these spikes. Those are just radio uh, stations. Like, here, actually, I can zoom out. And you can see on both sides, yeah, those are just radio stations that I'm not actually tuned into because I don't care about the radio. I'm more interested in, um, well, I'm looking for meteors. I don't care about pop music right now. <laughs> this is actually a really cool program because I can also do, like, AM, uh, narrow... F Band FM and a whole bit of other—it's really cool. So, like, when, when my telescope is on, oh, that might be one there. That little speck there—it's it, uh, pretty small compared to the other ones, but it might have been a very tiny one. But I'm not gonna keep hopeful it may just be interference. <laughs> well, that may have been something there. These little streaks, but I'm not too well. They're very tiny. The ones that I've seen that I know are. Or uh, signals are like they're very predominant, like they're very sharp and like they look very contrasty. Let's turn the contrast down just a little bit more. Let's go back to the lower contrast, but that'll help. Yeah, well, when I get my antenna set up and you know put together, um, probably gonna use the uh, the AM bands. Oh, there we go. See that? It's another, it's another, it's another small one, but up there, that 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 that, that, that might have been one. You can usually tell because, um, like just how how they how they look. Cause like, um, when it like, like again, it's like 
it's a, a quick spike that then tapers off as the you know the shooting star burns up. So you can usually discern uh, either a stray signal or interference from from, from a, a meteor by how it looks. And that one kind of looked like one, but it wasn't very bright. <coughs> Chances are I have this set up incorrectly, and I'm actually missing a whole bunch, but whatever.